Okay, now we are getting to the interesting bits. Um, compounding the sorcerer's unguent. I suppose you pronounce it that way. Unguent? Unguent. By Hans Baldung. This is early 16th century, 1514. And there's a couple more around the end here. This is also Hans Baldung Green is his name. The Consecration of the Fork and the Departure for the Sabbath. I always thought that was pretty cool, all that. It's um, the Departure for the Sabbath. Look at that. She's holding the fork right there and there's the there's like a pot of unguent, so you need that stuff to, to fly, right? In All this is so ironic to me. It's just, um, however are you going to take this seriously? I mean, it's scary enough. Look at her with her boobs hanging down like that. It's excellent. Um, but they look like, it looks rather real as if he was actually there at some point participating in the whole thing. I just hope that went well for him. Um, it looks very vibrant and very alive and all that, but still you have a hard time believing that it's actually real, right? There's a hat on the floor, there's more of those fork type things. And um, yeah, well, they know what they're on about, right? Hans Baldwin Green. I uh, always thought that was pretty fabulous. Just because of the wildness of it and, uh, well, I suppose also the fear that's behind all this. And also, at the same time, it looks to me like it's ironic, like it's already something we're not believing in anymore. It's a different um, artist again, the Assembly of Witches. There's another skull on the floor right there. And there, all the, always these the the female um, figures in the in the picture are depicted. Obviously, they're not ladies, right? They're not sitting there with their knees tightly together and their backs up straight and their faces looking down and all that demure stuff, which was popular in the in those days. So um, you can tell from both of those images, and. Uh, um, this one as well, actually, that they're real physical um, people and uh, they're really busy, whatever it is they're doing. Um, they're really involved with that and uh, they don't have time to put on a corset, I suppose, which was uh, quite a big deal in those days. And there's more. Oh yeah, this is also rather The Abomination of the Sorcerers by Jasper Isaac, 16th century. This one has a bit more of the funny, semi-symbolic demon stuff going on. Let's see how close we can get. That's rather uh, imaginative. No pretty faces, those look like men to me. Maybe the front one here does have uh, breasts, I'm not sure of that. She's not afraid to take her clothes off, she's done it before. Lots more of uh, these weirdo characters. <laughs> that reminds me of uh, those type of little demon-like winged skull-like characters. That reminds me that um, in the 19th century, there were, um, I suppose, fishermen who uh, uh, fabricated uh, out of uh, skulls and bones and skins, what have you, uh, sort of counterfeit demon carcasses, and they sold them. And they're in some kind of museum. I'd have to look it up to, uh, to get back to that. Um, I just think it's a way of uh, making money, right, from... Uh, People are trying to um, be very scientific about it. You see, there's actual demons. I have found a, I have found a skeleton in the cupboard, <laughs> which I think is hysterical. Part three, you guys. I'm just hoping that you enjoy this as much as I do.